Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and we bless Him for giving us the grace to come before you. Michael Kingsley here. I'm honored to be on the first broadcast, uh, live broadcast on Facebook for the Wild Trumpet Network. I felt delighted to uh, come over here and be with you and uh, pray with you. Uh, on the other pages, we've been praying and fasting for the last uh, almost 20, well, we're, we're almost you know, coming to almost 10 days. We're still going, we're still going forward. And therefore, we're thankful that God has given us the grace to be here tonight. And I believe that your life will never be the same again uh, to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I'm here to be to ask the Lord to come and be with us. Uh, wh why are we here? This is Wild Trumpet Network. It's a network page. Uh, in the coming weeks, you'll be able to see our 24/7 programming because we'll be launching. We'll be launching the network very, very, very soon. And so by the grace of God, I decided that we, you know, we have almost four or five thousand people here. I decided that we, we're going to come over here and join with other believers uh, to pray with you and believe God because part of the 21 days of prayer actually to help step into our launch time, you know, next month when we believe God for greater and mighty things. If I must share with you the vision of uh, the Wild Trumpet Network, God gave me the name, you know, Wild Trumpet way back when, um, even before he, you know, he brought me into media and everything here, I was timekeeper, so I knew how, I know how to play the trumpet. And so it was not something new, new to me when the Lord spoke to me about, you know, launching the Wild Trumpet Network because it's a symbolism of, of a mighty sound, it's a symbolism of uh, awakening, it's a symbolism of a wake-up call. And uh, it's a symbolism in the Bible that's used as a weapon to get us a lot awake and everything like that. So the word Trump is not tied to any king, anybody else. It's tied to the kingdom of God because it's an instrument that the Bible tells us that when the trumpet shall sound, that's the day that the Lord Jesus Christ will be showing up. When the trumpet shall sound, we'll be ready, you know, for him to pick us up. Therefore, as we fast forward now, you know, several years ago, God speaks to me that we will launch a network. We started several technologies that we were able to do on a small scale, regional level in California. We, we are in the movie industry producing America's Last Option and producing America 2020. It's several projects that we've done. And so by the time the Lord speaks to me to start working on this project, I realize that, hey, this is, you know, somewhere the Lord is extending us that we would take the gospel to the ends of the earth. The vision of what the Royal Trumpet Network before we pray is actually to awaken the heart of evangelism back up in, in its, you know, for, the, for, the front place to come back in the forefront. We found out that for the last several years, this gifting of the evangelist, the uniqueness of this gift that brings together, that gathers people together has been dwindling and has been dying out. But this network would be a network that's going to awaken men and women of God to return to God. This would be a trumpet that's going to be blown all over the world. In 200 countries, this network is going to be watched. And we are for reaching the non-rich people in the remotest parts of the world. So interesting enough that as we came into this past year, that God opened this mighty door for us to start work on the technology and began to talk, you know, with some of the big uh, industry titans of uh, this vision, this kind of technology of television. So we've been putting it together. We've been putting it together. And some of you who have been following me on my other pages, you know that I've been making announcements and I've been posting pictures and I've been talking about it. You know entirely by the grace of God and now we are in the months and weeks of getting closer and closer to the launch and it's coming back soon and very soon you're gonna see mighty men of God mighty men of God 
on this network 24 7 you know in north america over 80 million homes south america over 300 million homes uh, europe and africa over 400 million homes the far east you know many millions of homes god is just allowing us to set this thing up to propagate the gospel all over the world we envision over you know that five billion people will be reached how are we doing it? we're doing it because god has given us the capabilities god has given us the grace he's given us the favor miracle signs and wonders so number one is propagate the gospel number two is for us to make sure that you will be see we are a station or we are a network that is for revival global moves of god a place that god is moving now if you're a pastor and you're watching me right now let me make a pitch if you're a pastor and leader or an evangelist a lay minister you have a heart for souls please inbox me inbox me the founder of this very network i will reach out to you we will talk we're getting so many the lineup is just taking place right now so please talk to me we are we can put together a good package for you for a time slot to come in on you know next you know every other week or so whatever you want as god can lead you we would love men like like-minded men of god to come in okay i'm taking up your time because hey i wanted us to go through the word and pray so i want to i'll have another time that i will break out this number three we are a very mighty humanitarian network in other words that we are called to take the gospel of compassion not only empty words but compassion to the ends of the earth you hear me so definitely we be, we are believing god that god will give us the grace and the grace that i'm talking about is for us to take substantial help we are going to feed the widow we're going to feed the orphan we are going to take children back to school we're going to network with uh, with uh, doctors you know with our boarders and uh non-profit organizations to make sure that we blanket the world with kindness isn't that what christ wants us to do exactly that's what we're going to do a hundred percent oh that's what actually we're doing this past week this past week you know we had the grace of uh feeding over fifteen thousand children including parents almost those almost like four thousand parents so guess what what does that mean god is giving us the grace to take compassion to the ends of the earth i'm excited you can tell because god's doing great and mighty things but what i came here to do that's what you see 21 days of prayer strategic prayer 2021 who wants to enter let me get to the word of god let me get to the word of god and we're going to pray please if you're watching me invite somebody invite someone invite someone invite someone invite someone let them be part of it they're going to be blessed i'm telling you in the next 10 minutes they are going to be blessed in the name of jesus glory to god they are going to be blessed you are going to be blessed by the power of the holy spirit anyway so now that i've shared with you a little snippet about what the trumpet network is and why we're here today you're going to see more more of our programming more of our 24-hour programming several preachers we like and minded are going to be with us and we're believing god for great and mighty things in the name of jesus but today the last several i mean almost 10 days coming to 10 days we've been in our our 21 days of prayer and we will be done on the 25th okay we'll be done on the 25th that's where we stop this prayer it's been mighty uh, on our other pages almost uh 1000 2000 people 5000 people are watching or are joining us in this prayer that means it's serious we want to see the same we want men and women of god to join us so that we can seek the face of god so we can pray if you're a man of prayer if you're a woman of prayer this is the place to be this is the time to be so don't worry about it god has called us you know god has called us to seek his face and pray and believe him for mighty things don't you see that we need prayer don't you see that we need a visitation don't you see we need a mighty 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 move of god in our day in our time don't you see that yes we do all over the world for our nation for our nations for our cities and uh, people in government that the church is taking a big toll don't you see that this is where we are and we're going to need such a mighty visitation of god in this very coming days don't you see right now that you need to be empowered that you need to be set apart for what god's doing i believe that you are 
and because you are, you better back it up, you know, you better, you know, belt out, better get ready because you are going to need a lot of strength, a lot of power. You're going to need a lot of, uh, a whole lot of heaven in order to take 2021 by the horns and say, you know what, I have the victory and the victory belongs to me in the name of Jesus. That's why we're here. And I want to join my faith with your faith to believe God that great and mighty things are going to take place. Nothing is going to be for free. You hear me? Nothing is going to be for free. This is the year of the mighty. This is the year of the mighty. The mighty will be strong. The mighty will be great. The mighty will do exploits for the Lord. The mighty will never give up. The mighty, you're seeing people, everybody's pressing in for something. You know, the, the politicians are pressing in to be victorious. Okay? The CEOs in, 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 in business are pressing in to make more profits. You know, everybody's pressing in somewhere to win something. What about you? What about you, saints? You ought to be one of them that says, you know what? I'm going to press in also. I'm going to press in. I'm going to remove the devil, the enemy out of my way. And I'm going to press in to see great and mighty things take place in my life. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. And that's why I call on you tonight. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for great and mighty things. Now, on yesterday, we pray, we read the scripture, James chapter 4 and verse 3. I'm going to go back there. And the word of God said, You pray amiss, or you ask and do not receive, because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. Okay? We read yesterday, the word of God said, another translation say, You pray and do not receive because you pray and miss okay that you may spend it whatever you pray that you may spend it on your pleasure yesterday we found out that it is not wise for us to pray selfish selfish prayers it's not wise at all we don't pray for personal gain we pray to please the heart of god the only prayers that god answers what is the kind of prayer that god answers it is a prayer that God, that, it, that involves God in the articulation or the manifestation of what He wants to do. Okay? Most times we approach God because we're desperate for Him to deliver us out of something. Sometimes we go to God because we want Him to set us free or heal us. So we've made, it, we've made God a need God. So every time it's a need God, it's somebody you go to and say, give me, give me, give me. It's just like knowing somebody has money and they have their millions in the bank. And, and so because they do have it, you automatically think, you know what, I'm going to go there. And uh, maybe it's your relatives. I'm going to go there and ask them every time they, you know, every time they have some money. So let them give me some, let them give me some, let them give me some. You hear me? And therefore, when we have that mentality, we make it a one-sided situation. It's one-sided relationship. Yet it, it, it cannot be a one-sided relationship. It's a two-way street. It is a two-way street. We've got to understand in order for the greatest miracles, the greatest assignment, the greatest outpouring, the greatest visitation of God to take place in our lives, we've got to be a people who involve God in every situation that we're believing God for. In other words, it does not begin with our needs. It doesn't begin with what we want. Yeah, Michael, we've had that before. Okay, if you've had that before, how many times have you been able to do what God has told you to do? Tonight, I want to awaken the body of Christ. Let's shift. Let's change the idea of us be looking at God as a need meter alone, yet also God has got something He wants in the earth. God wants something in the earth realm. Ask the Lord, what do you want to be done in the earth realm? What do you want? be accomplished here i know i'm the one asking you for miracles i'm asking you to open doors for me i'm asking you to do all of these kind of things but bookie god what is it that you want to do i am the one i give you a story of anna in the bible when anna went before to the temple she wanted a child so bad like a mother who who her womb had been closed she's asking for a child god, god give me that's a love of a mother she wants to hold her baby that phase of a mother, you know, holding the baby and loving on the baby and everything like that. I know a thing or two about baby. So guess what? I understand that very situation. Guess what? So because 
know that she's carrying she wants a mother she's desperate for a mother i have i have been able to pray for so many people who came in you know especially ladies who are barren who didn't have children okay they didn't have children and i prayed for them and i, I prophesied over them and said by this time i see you again you will have a child and they went back believing god the way and they came back to me they were carrying twins the current twins that's how powerful god is and they excited so you remember you remember me i said okay remind me i'm the lady i'm the woman that came to you i needed prayer and you prayed over me and you told me that i'm gonna have a child and you know what they were very excited to be able to hold the baby okay because that's how they wanted to have the baby so the example of anna is a picture of a mother that wants a baby okay but at the time she's asking for the baby her womb is closed her womb is closed and it's not closed because she's barren it's just closed it's just closed she doesn't know what she doesn't know what happened to her womb you know it's not like she has miscarriages and everything but she happens to go in the temple she seems to understand that i need a miracle i need my womb to open up and i need to have a child because she's desperate praying because she's been challenged number one she's been challenged by the other woman her rival her, her rival is getting in one two three kids they're coming out and she's that woman is excited and what having babies and everything like that and and she says oh why me why not me there's so many of you who are listening to me who have literally gone into a prayer closet very very desperate to get what you want but you went there with a wrong strategy you went there you know, because you saw somebody driver a limousine, somebody has a jet. I know pastors who are going through problems right now because they kind of got a glimpse a little bit because they wanted to get a jet and they, they prayed, they got a jet, they got some little money, got in the jet and within two, three, four months, that jet could not, they could not have the money, they were desperate, they came back. They, they got what they got because they wanted to be seen by, by people. They wanted to show off. It was selfish. It was sick. It was so backward. It's tradition it doesn't work never go in the presence of god because you're forced to go in there because of somebody else never go there never do that it never works it will fire back it never works what i want to say to you today is that you need to go in the presence of god and find out what god's will is for your life you need to step into the presence of god to know father what is your will about this situation Father, what do you wear? Where am I positioned? This is this your will? Is this what you desire for me? Okay, is this what I want? But Michael, I always know what I want. Yes, you do know what you want, but is it what God wants you? Because the word of God says you don't receive because you miss something. What is the ingredient that you missed? What is it? And sometimes you're frustrated why your heavens are open, uh, closed, nothing's happening, you don't hear the voice of God, and everything is not lining up to you, and you're asking God, what is it that's taking place tonight? Why is my heavens open? I mean, closed. Here, I'm going to give you the answer to it. Because you pray wrong. Because you don't have a strategy. Because, like Anna, at first, she didn't have a strategy. She didn't know what she wanted. She didn't know that as much as she wanted a child, God wanted someone. God was looking for God was looking for a prophet. God needed somebody to judge Israel. He didn't have none. He knew that the house of Eli had fallen. The house of Eli and his children who could have taken over as priests, they had already messed up and squandered their time into scandals and everything. So the house of God had become a blasphemy. And God needs another man. God needs another servant. God, like today, you know, we look at today, the world is asking where the great men of God are. Where are the great mighty men of God are? The world is asking, where are they? He's asking, where are you? And as we are praying, God, anoint me. Fill me up with the Holy Ghost. God said, you're not praying strategic prayers. You're not asking me to move like never before. You ain't asking me to do what I said I would do. You're not reminding me of my work. You are not reminding me of my son and what he did at Calvary. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is your prayer strategy? What is your way? How do you overcome this? How does your heavens open? What happens when your heavens are closed? What if you're praying wrong today? And that's why your miracle has not happened. That's why everything has been tied up. Nobody wants to be in, in a walk with God when your heavens are tied and nothing is happening. No hope, no peace. You know, you're in desperate and depression. 
that you're being kicked out and in your life and everything. Nobody wants to be in that light. When we walk with God, the Bible says we walk from glory to glory, from power to power. We want to see breakthroughs take place. We want to see, you know, the hand of God manifest into our lives. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Don't you want to see it? Don't you want to see it? That is my prayer for you tonight. That God may open up the windows of heaven for you. God may open up the windows of heaven for you, but not only for you. That when God opens the windows of heaven for you, is the glory of God will go back to Him. That when God opens the windows of, of heaven for you, mighty things will begin to happen in your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, I told you, open. Invite somebody here. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. Let them show up tonight. They're going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. They're going to be blessed going in and they're going to be blessed going out. We need to realign ourselves back to the Lordship of Jesus. And when we align ourselves back to that, guess what? Everything we missed seven years ago, everything we missed five years ago, everything we missed even last year, everything we missed last week, the floods of, of the floodgates of heaven will begin to open up. Great and mighty things will begin to open up. Power will begin to be released. I mean, every miracle that has been hidden over the years. You said, Lord, I have prayed for those things for many years, but they were hidden. Well, you prayed wrong. Maybe you did pray wrong. Maybe you missed something. Oh, let's come back to the drawing board and say, Lord, how did I miss it? How did I miss your plan? How did I miss your purpose? How did I miss your way? How did I miss your will? God's well able to tell you. You know what? Because you prayed on an emotional level. You pray because you are competitive. You want to show people you are great. You want to show other people in the church that I gave you a new car. I gave you nice shoes. You want to show off. We are not in the business of showing off. We are not in the business of boasting. We are not in the bus business of uh, glorifying ourselves. We are in the business of glorifying God. If I be lifted up, I will draw many unto me. That's what the Word of God says. And in order for us to be effective in this journey of prayer, saints of God, we must return to God. And we must be able to say, Lord, it's about you. It's about your name. It's about your kingdom. It's about your glory. It's about your works. It's about your sonship. It's about your blood. It's about your way. It's about everything that, that makes who you are. Because you're the beginning and the end. When we begin to pray like that, we're praying the will of the Father. We're not praying our will. We're not praying to be rich. We're not praying to be whatever. We are praying to believe God for the greatest outpouring in the name of Jesus. When we began this network, we said, Lord, this network belongs to you. We said it is a world trumpet network. We want to see the trumpet blown in Africa, the trumpet blown in North America, South America, East Asia, and Europe, and everywhere. And we want to see souls saved. But who saves? I don't save people. I don't save people. The blood of Jesus does. The Holy Spirit of God does. And that's why I'm here tonight to wake you up and tell you if we are going to pray in this remaining 21 days, we are asking God to move like never before. We are asking God to open the floodgates of heaven. We are asking God to expand. Okay, stretch out his hand and let him do great and mighty things. We are sick and tired of man's ideas. We are sick and tired of man's ways. We are sick and tired of man's denominations. We are sick and tired of religion because those are mad men. We are sick and tired of all the religiosity and the lies and the deceptions of men. We are sick and tired of our formulas and our way because all of those formulas haven't saved nobody. All of our ways haven't, even our beautiful mega churches have not saved them. Don't you see the pandemic? The pandemic hit us and nobody knew how to treat it. To treat it. Nobody, not the church, not the science, everybody. When people, have, we've already lost a few people, millions of people that have gone. People are sick and everything. Who will deliver us? He wants us to seek his face. He wants us to call on him. He wants us to invite him back. And when we do invite him, great and mighty things will begin to happen. In the name of Jesus, Rabbi Shaka Tebewa. That's why I tell you, we are making an announcement right here on the Trumpet Network that we are going to blow the trumpet and the Lordship of Jesus and the anointing of the Holy Ghost shall be released in all nations. And God will draw many people unto himself. He will bring back his people unto himself. He will shake the nations and the best of what he wants will come forth he will shake the nations like he's doing now and people will come back to the lordship of jesus every knee will bow every time will confess that jesus christ is lord i came to 
wake you up i came to ignite something in your spirit go back to the drawing board like ella did and what did ella do this is what ella did ella went back to the temple and on this one day this is what she said lord give me a son it's very hard to give out what you've been given because it takes faith to give what God has given you. He said, give me a son and I will give him back to you. Give me a son. And guess what, saints? The moment you say, give me a son and I will give him back to you. Heaven said, yes. We've been waiting for somebody to pray like that. We've been waiting for a woman to pray like that because heaven needed a prophet and heaven needed to appoint a new prophet they didn't have none heaven wanted to raise up another man who was not defiled who was not sick who was not demented who was not corrupt who was not toxic heaven wanted to raise up a man and he needed to do that through a, a womb so all that entire struggle of the womb being closed was a divine appointment that in her womb God was already preparing for a prophet. All mothers want to have great kids, but very few mothers would get, would get a perfect key that would change the world. Let me tell you this, all right? Therefore, because she prayed that strategic prayer, that's what I'm talking about tonight. Because she prayed a strategic prayer. Because she said, God, give me somebody. I will give him back to you. I'll offer him to you. He will be your son in the house of God. And God said, okay, let me give you something because you said you're going to give it back to me. When was the last time you stopped praying selfish prayers? Prayers of self, self-interest that are about you. This is a time that you consider praying for other people. This is a time for you to consider to pray for other people, for, for this nation. That, that's why the Bible tells us, pray for your enemies. If you cannot pray for your enemies, how will you be able to pray for your friends? And therefore tonight, I call on you in the name of Jesus, body of Christ. It is a time for us to pray strategic prayers. And what are the strategic prayers? Number one, the strategic prayers are where we involve God in everything we're doing. That's what Anna did. Anna said, Lord, I give you. I give you back the son that's involving God. Number two, okay? We have to pray that God works out his grand plan. God has got a plan. Don't you think you have plans? Don't you think you got plans? That's why the Bible said man has got so many plans, but God makes his way. God prepares his way. Oh, God ordains his way. Until God ordains his way, no man can be able to plan anything. The word of God told us, you know what? If he doesn't keep the city, the keeper keep it in vain. If he doesn't build the builders, build it in vain. So that means that everything has to be built on the blueprint under the Lordship and revelation of Jesus. So the, the second strategy is for us to make sure that we understand God's grand plan. Like in 2021, what is God's idea for you in 2021? Now, I know you wrote your resolution. You say, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. But I tell you, I stop doing resolutions that begin with what I want. I do resolutions with what, even if it's one statement, I say, God, this is the year. This is your year in my life. And that one statement means a whole lot. That's my resolution. I want God to be that. Because if I have God, everything that I can list together will come to pass. Okay? So what is God's agenda in your life? I know you have your agenda, you have your plans, you want to prosper, you want to be, be out of debt, you want to be healed, and you want to do that. But tonight I come to tell you, what is God's agenda? Without knowing God's agenda, you're going to pray selfish prayers and your heavens are going to be hidden. But tonight your heavens cannot be hidden because God is doing a mighty great thing in our time today in the name of Jesus. Shout Amen. Shout Amen, saints of God. Glory to God. All right, so God has got an agenda in the universe and the agenda is that he be glorified. He be glorified. Are you part of the people that will glorify God? Are we a generation that will glorify? I see people 
glorifying politicians. I see people glorifying government. I see people glorifying, you know, politicians and banks and money and houses and cars and, and limousines and everything. I see people who are glorifying their, they glorify flesh and, and their looks and their beauty, Hollywood, celebritism and uh, their skyscrapers and real estate and names and everything. I see people who are so driven away into themselves. But are you ready to be one that's going to glorify God? Are we those kind of people? Can we be a people that will glorify God? Because if we do glorify God, He will make Himself strong in our generation and no weapon will we will be, we'll be able to prosper in the name of Jesus. Who am I talking to tonight that understands what I'm talking about today? He wants us to glorify Him. He wants us to seek His face. He wants us to be a people that as people are praising CNN and Fox News and commentators and riots and protests and divisions and hatred. Some of them are rooted in, in racism and division and religion and tradition. We are going to give God the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. I give God the glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I give God the glory tonight. 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 I give the Lord the glory tonight. I give Him the glory because of my life. I give Him the glory because of the network, World Trumpet Network. I give Him glory because of 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 everything that he's doing for me and he's doing for all of us in the name of Jesus. I give him glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Or for the people he's brought and he has me, you know, he has me to look after and love and, and take care of in the name of Jesus. Lord, I, I give him glory because the church that has been sick and torn apart and down is going to awaken in the name of Jesus. We have to give God the glory. We give him the glory. We give him the glory. To him be the glory. To him be the honor. To to him be glorified even if I have to say that word that one word I know that he is to be glorified in the name of Jesus shout hallelujah my friends shout hallelujah my friends shout hallelujah my friends shout hallelujah my friends hallelujah shout hallelujah my friends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Oh, glory to God, 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 glory to God. It's not by power, no by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight, tonight is when we pray that God is glorified. Yes, 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 yes. We need to find out what God wants. That's what Anna found out. When Anna found out that God needed a prophet, she changed the way she prayed. Her entire prayer, lifestyle of prayer changed. Your lifestyle of prayer will change when you begin to know what God's desire is. It's not only you that has got desires. It's not only you that has got needs. It's not only you that has got everything. Stop being sick and sensitive. Stop, stop being self-absorbed. Stop making everything about you. You've got to make it about God. 2021, we are making it about God because guess what? Everything we were trying to make about us has already evaporated. The pandemic has shaken our finances, our lives and everything. We've got to make it about God. We've got to make it about God. When we make it about God, we will see miracles, signs and wonders. When we make it about God, it shall be done in the name of Jesus. I pray that you awaken tonight to make it about God. Let it be about God. Let it be about God. Let it be about God. Shout hallelujah. So guess what? Strategic prayers move God because they elevate God. They excite God. They glorify God. They put Him to attention. He is coming down to do great and mighty things. Even when we were in a situation, in a battle, and whatever it is, when He knows that we are glorifying Him, even when we are, He will come through. He will come through. That's what David, David won his battles praising God. He is in trouble. He's talking about God. He's not talking about giants. He's not talking about his storms. He's talking about his greater name. He isn't, he's not talking about nothing. He's talking about God. Do you have a vocabulary of talking about God or not talk about your sickness or talk about anything that's taking place? Talk about God because when you do put it in your mouth, then put less of the negativity. People are negative right now. People are so negative right now. They're talking all 
everything that's, that, that is so messed up, let me call it nasty. People are so nasty right now. The church doesn't have to play nasty. The church doesn't have to play, let me call out the church. The church doesn't have to be nasty. The church has been called to speak the language of heaven. Where there is hell, let's invite people to heaven. Where there is sickness, let's call people to hope. Where it, whatever it is the world is trying to do, okay, we don't have to go by the way of the world. We have to return to God. You are no I'm speaking the word of God tonight in the name of Jesus. That's why today I'm gonna stop here. We're gonna we're gonna continue here tomorrow in the name of Jesus. I want to pray with you. God with you that this is the hour this is the time that all of us who have been called by God in the name of Jesus to glorify God be glorified in our lives be glorified in our minds be glorified in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus God are the days when we are going to glorify ourselves. God are the days when we're going to glorify our ministries. God are the days when we're going to glorify our way of life. And okay, God are the days when we're going to glorify our exceptionalism. You know, God are the days when we're going to glorify our skin color. Or God are the days we're going to see racism and injustice on our streets and everything. God are the days we want the name of Jesus Christ to be glorified above every, any other name. And that's why I pray to the glory of God. May your will be done. May your will be done. May your will be done. May your will be done, Jehovah. May your will be done. May your will be done, Jehovah. May your will be done. It ain't by power, no by might, but by the Spirit of God. It ain't by power, no by might, but by the Spirit of God. That's why we pray in the name of Jesus. That's why we seek your face tonight. Oh God, that's why we cry out to you tonight. That we move out of your way. We move out of your way. We move out of your way. We get out of your way. There's something you want to do, but we've been standing in your way. We've been talking about our names, our accomplishments. There is something you want to do in the earth realm as the world is shaking, as governments are shaking, as politicians are shaking, as everything is under attack. There is something you want to do. You have something, and Lord, we pray that you can do it. That all eyes be looking on you. That all eyes be pay attention unto you. There is something great that you're doing tonight that is going to be more glorifying that more powerful more prepared into the glory of God that's what we seek that's what we desire that is your way in the name of Jesus somebody shout hallelujah 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 to the glory of God 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 to the glory of your name to the glory of your name to the glory of your power to the glory Lord that you are higher exalted you are high exalted because when you don't, when you do, when you go ahead of us, move every mountain, every crooked place, sickness and disease is driven out. But the assignment of the, of the Lord tonight in the name of Jesus, we will agree that you are King and Lord of our lives. Lord, we pray that you're going to intervene in the affairs of man. Man has been trying to run astray, run away from you, deny you. Yes, they've been running away from you, but Lord, we ask of you that bring back Mac to yourself. Bring back man to yourself. Bring back man to yourself. Bring return him back to you. When you do return him back to you, man will give it will give you the glory. Man will give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God, glory to God tonight. Glory to God, glory to God tonight. Glory to God, glory to God tonight. May the church pay you attention more. May the church worship you more. May the body of Christ, Lord, wake up from slumber. May the body of Christ wake up from slumber. May the body of Christ get out from slumber. May this body of Christ get out from slumber. Let them hear a mighty revelation. Let them hear my revelation. Pour out the spirit of prayer upon the church. For the most part, the church has been prayerless. The church has been religious. The church has been in tradition. The church has been on, has been laid back, has been pushed on the side. But today, in the name of Jesus, we will pray your will. Because you say, those you place, that you placed in my hand, can nobody pluck them out. My ship, hear my voice. I pray that you raise up a generation of men and women that hear your voice, that know your voice, that Lord walk with you, that understand you. That's what I pray to the glory of God. As you're doing great and mighty things in our time, in our, that the body of Christ, the church of Jesus Christ, 
will awaken in this hour, in this time, Lord, to be filled with the Holy Ghost, that every demon in hell that's been trying to step in the way to hinder the strategies of God will begin to see great and mighty things, will begin, will begin, will begin. Everything that's been standing in the way will, will begin to get out of the way that the name of Jesus be glorified. 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 The name of Jesus be magnified. The name of Jesus be glorified. The name of Jesus for the pastors. The name of Jesus be glorified in the lives of pastors. The name of Jesus be glorified in the lives of mothers. The name of Jesus be glorified in the times of marriages. Yes, the name of Jesus be glorified, God. Lord, Lord, that you raise up a new generation in our time that will honor you, that won't be toxic. A new generation of leaders that won't be toxic, that will not compromise. You know, because of politics and the left and right, the donkey and the elephant. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus boldly that you will have a people that will stand on your platform, that they won't lead your people astray. They won't run with deceptive ideas and mindsets and dog, dog, dogmas in the name of Jesus. They will run with you. They'll run the race and the race will be finished in the name of Jesus. We live in the last days. You've said that in the last days you'll pour out your spirit. You'll pour out your spirit and because you say you're going to pour out your spirit in our day, you're going to do great miracle signs and wonders in our day and Lord we're expecting for only great things that, that will overdrive and step out of this chaos that we see in our nations, in our world, in our streets in the name of Jesus. May we pray the will of God that's that that is in heaven to be fulfilled right here on earth in the name of Jesus. May we pray your agenda and we will pray your plan. The very things that you want to accomplish in the earth realm is what we pray for, is what we decree, is what we declare. We decree and declare the very things you want to do. We know you want to make your name great, greater than any other name. That's what we pray for in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. I thank you for every man and woman that's here today that's praying with us. I pray for every man and woman that's here. I agree with them. Whatever they will be, they've been, their heavens have been closed. For a long time they've been praying and things have been missing. Nothing has been coming up, but beginning from today, they're going to begin to see their heavens open. I decree heaven, open heaven. I decree open heaven because they're changing how they pray. They're changing their strategy. And there's going to be a new outcome in the name of Jesus that in 2020, in 2020, one God you are releasing the heavens open that have been closed for them that have been closed for them they're now opening in the name of Jesus they're now opening in Africa they're opening in America they're opening in the name of Jesus there is abundance of rain that's about to be released in the name of Jesus there's no more holdbacks there's no more setbacks there's no more hindrance everything has been standing in the way because we are changing the strategy 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 we were defeated before we will never be defeated again we were down before we will never be down again we were sick before we will never be sick again we were blind before we will never be blind again in the name of Jesus strategy is changing yes they were weak before but now they're strong that's my prayer I agree with them I agree with me, every man and woman of God watching tonight that they will awaken like mighty warriors to do great and mighty things through their ministries through their ministry through their ministries by the power of our Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Most High God. Oh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Most High God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Most High God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Most High God tonight. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Most High God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You will, you you are shifting 2021. You're 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 shifting the lives of God's people in the name of Jesus. You're shifting the lives of God's people. All of this strain, all of this negativity, 
all of this chaos, everything that the enemy has been trying to set up as an agenda to suppress the voice of the church, we get it out of the way. We hinder it in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Everything that's trying to suppress the voice of the church, the voice of the body of Christ, God, we take it out of the way. We come against the spirit of disunity and division in the church. We take it out of the way. Everything the enemy, every tool the enemy is using against the work of God, Lord, right here in North America, in Africa, in Europe, and everywhere, we break it in the name of Jesus. May you do great miracles, signs and wonders. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Saints, I'm excited to pray with you. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel God is opening. God's opening doors. God's opening doors. And because He's opening doors, great things are happening tonight by the Spirit of God. There is a new shift. There is a new shift. There is a new glorious image you know, of God. It's in the name of Jesus. If you're part of it, say amen, say amen, say amen, say amen, say amen. Shout amen, shout amen, shout amen to the glory of God. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. Saints, thank you for praying tonight. Thank you for coming in tonight. We're going to be back on tomorrow again right here on this channel. You're going to begin to see many things coming on this channel as we step into our count, you know, countdown of this very thing that we're doing to the glory of God. Pray together with the saints. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for believing God with us. Hey, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I feel the heavens are open. I feel, I sense them. I know God's about to do great and mighty things. It's not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. If you pray tonight, I want you to know that God's visiting your home. God's visiting your home. God's visiting your life. God's visiting your 2021. Oh yeah, we are shifting the strategy. The enemy has been used to knowing our old strategy, but we have a new one, and he can touch us. He can touch this. You gotta say, you gotta say that to him. Can touch this in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for you tonight. Bless you, bless you, bless you. We'll see you again to the glory of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have a good night. Good morning, everywhere. Let's believe God for great and mighty things in Jesus' name.